Hey, how's it going? Troy from Big BB over here. Um, I thought I'd do a video on this. I had one of these Bushmaster knives come back uh, with the complaint that it would not uh, deploy. So, um, got in there and figured out what's wrong with it. And to show you the process, um, one of the first things that you're going to do before you do open this up, obviously, is make sure that one, there is no spring tension on it, as you can see, it, no spring tension. All right. There's only six little screws here, and they take a little T8 bit. <clears throat> Let me bring this tray over here. Take a little T8 bit and uh, they're just little tiny screws. Damn it. And they're not even in there that tight. You can actually take them out with your fingers. Yeah, like that one. Um, as you see, I'm not using anything really but an extension, a socket, and a T8 bit, so. And this one is already off the track, as you see, it coming out. Under normal circumstances, all you'd have to do is pull it out and re-engage uh, it into the springs. Um, this one, in this case... When I first took it apart, it was uh, it was actually locked down inside. Um, and that's kind of what gave me the idea to go ahead and do this video, is to show you guys how simple these things are and why they work the way they do. There you go. So you take the cover off here, and that's all that's inside here. Um, here's the here's the push button. And here's the spring mechanism, right? And that's all it is, is a spring mechanism. And then you got two little tabs on this side. So this is where the knife goes and it bounces in between. You notice there's no rail, there's nothing. So when this thing shoots out this way, there's, there's nothing there guiding it. So... Um, that spring literally just pushes it straight up into this one far enough to engage this little locking mechanism right here where we're in right now. And then when you push it down, it will engage it this way and the spring will push it all the way back down, engaging it into that locking mechanism, right? Um, and that's, that's literally all there is to these. So um, putting them together is uh, just as easy. Yeah, when you have this little piece right here, remember the spring goes up. This little tab right here is where your um, where your uh, lever will go. Your little switch, and you want to move the uh, blade halfway up so that way you're not inside that spring tension zone. And then all you're gonna do is. Push this in there to where you are. In those. There you go. Put your little switch back on here. And then all we're going to do is give it a little test. It's fast, too. There we go. I just need to put some more tension on it. But that's it. So this one in here, it was actually locked in all the way at the bottom. That was the complaint. It wouldn't deploy. Um, so I took it apart. I did exactly what I just did there. Um, you can see how simple it is. 
So that was really the only purpose of this video was to show you that this thing is super simple. So if you um, got one um, and it's in there and it's stuck and you cannot deploy it, it's very simple to repair. All right. Um, just like that. Um, this one will be sent back out to the customer uh, now that it's repaired. Um, I don't know what happened to it. Whatever happened, happened during shipment um, because it definitely worked when I sent it out. But that's neither here nor there. Um, if you ever have an issue, I will take care of my customers. So this is one of those ways I do this is, um, you know, she sent it back to me, said, hey, this don't work. I took it in, it worked now, I send it back. End of story. I don't charge anything else, nothing. Um, you already bought the knife, so as far as I'm concerned, um, as long as she's happy when she gets it back, we are square, all right? I can go ahead, I'm just gonna finger type these right now. And then I'll get the uh, ratchet out and snug it. But that's about it. All right. So there you go.